Morning. I'm just going to give it a couple minutes where we get started. Good morning. Hey. So you can hear me? I can hear you fine. Can you see my screen? Yeah. It's your Instagram. Yep. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure I did it right. This is the first time <laughs> I've to the TV. So I was like, oh. Oh. Yeah, you you know, I'm I know. seeing a couple people to actually be in here today. So I was like, I guess I'll hook up to the TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's it cool. Was super easy, by the way. Oh, was it? Okay. I'm gonna need yeah, step by to step and start. <laughs> yeah, we have the same computer, so it should be pretty easy for you. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did buy this like piece like months ago that you told me to get that will make it a lot easier the adapter like the thing with the yeah it's like a rectangle yep <laughs> yep the <laughs> dongle is what <laughs> something like that whatever oh. you told me to buy I bought but I haven't ever used it because I've been still been operating off of Thomasina's computer but I'd love to do it off yeah. of mine yeah I, I prefer mine I one I don't use windows very often if ever right I prefer mine but eventually I'm sure I'll use the other one yeah but I'm just here doing laundry. Ready? <laughs> All right. Well, I think I hear somebody walking in now and then we'll go ahead and get started. Cool. Have you used the um, open house app yet? I haven't yet. Oh, cool. Good, yes. good, good. Because we're going to actually set up like an open house. Amazing. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to mute myself. <laughs> what are we doing today? All right. Today, just because it was on the itinerary, I'm just going to once again, two minutes to show everyone how to make their Instagram business. Um, and then, sorry. And then um, we're basically, most of this is going to be creating an open house using the core open house app. Oh, have you used it yet? Uh, not for that, no. Okay. It is amazing. I've used it a few times. Uh, actually, I was hoping you were going to be doing that. Yeah. I've used core, but I haven't used it enough. So let's see what we're doing today because we're yeah. Well, this so all right. So just just for video purposes, hey guys, it's Tanya. Um, so I am going to briefly go over this Instagram thing, but then um, if you're not using Bold Trail, what it's called now was KB Core, um, please do. The brokerage provides it. It's amazing. There's a lot of extra features and things to make your life easier. Automations, sends out text messages. You, there's plenty of add-ons that you can use. Um, it, it just, but my favorite, one of my favorite things, not my favorite thing, but one of my favorite things, because I do open houses quite often has been the open house app, because as you know, I'm a technology person and I hate paper. So prior to the app, I was using some Google paper I pulled offline for people to manually fill out with a pen. And then what you have to do is go back in whatever CRM you're using, you got to go in and manually enter them in as somebody to follow up with. So um, Core Open House actually works with Bold Trail. I got to get used to saying that. <laughs> I'm saying it's the KB Core. Oh, well, look for your KB Core password if you have it saved. Um, but anyway, so they just changed it. So I don't feel too bad. It's, I think it was last week. Um, so anyway, we're going to do that, but real quick, let me get to my right screen here. Actually, I think it was on it. Um, again, I think Rebecca, you were on last time I went over this, but if you want to switch, so first of all, first and foremost, if you are a realtor and you are not on social media, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, this day and age is a big part of our business. Um, my personal goal is to focus on Instagram a little bit more, possibly TikTok, if I get bold enough to do more videos. Um, because think about who is graduating college, getting jobs right now. They're going to be house hunting in a year or two. And do they use Facebook? No, they use TikTok and Instagram and Snapchat, mostly Instagram is what that age group is looking for. So if you're trying to market to a specific category, you want these first time home buyers that are just getting established and want to help make their dreams come true, get on Instagram, start using it. Hashtags are a thing. You can connect your Facebook and Instagram, which is what I do. So anything I post on Facebook, if it is um, 
compatible with Instagram, it will also get posted to Instagram. That includes any ads that you are running. If you run any Facebook ads, it also includes reels. If you create a reel on Facebook, it shares to Instagram as a reel. Um, your story share, everything shares if you connect the two. So please do so. Um, if you have questions about that, let me know. But for ad purposes, you need to put it as a business profile. Um, so once you connect Facebook, because if you, you can run ads on Instagram by itself, but why would you do that if you can run it on two social medias for the same amount of money? You don't have to pay separately for Instagram. So if I put 25 bucks on an open house sponsored ad on Facebook, it goes to Instagram with that same $25, right? I don't have to pay it twice. So um, do it. And uh, basically you just go into your profile. If you have not done this, you are going to change it to a professional account. Um, mine's already a professional account, but you can also turn it off if you want to for any reason. Um, but I choose to leave mine professional. Again, it helps with the ads and algorithms, especially if you're using your hashtags appropriately and things like that. So that's that. So on to the fun stuff. Um, again, if you have questions about Instagram, please just let me know. But Bowl Trail, which was Katie Core, um, offers a lot of these little marketplace add-on things that you can go in. Um, one of the things that they offer, especially for agents that do a lot of open houses, um, we've got all of our newer agents. You've got Sam does a lot of house open houses herself. Um, she uses this app as well. Absolutely loves it. Um, but Bold Trail has their open house mobile app. Just don't. Perfect. Did you put it on your phone? Mm -hmm. Do you have a tablet or do you only use your phone? I mean, it's a tablet <laughs> phone, but like, so what I do anyway, so they have, let me go this and I'll tell you I what know. I do. So, um, the bold house open app or open house app, it can go on your phone. Jed just put his on his phone. I have mine on the iPad. I do also have it on the phone. If you have a newer Mac with an M1 or newer chip, you can put it on your MacBook as well, which is what how I have it pulled up. Um, it just looks a little funky, but you can do it on a Mac. Windows does have its own app. You have to go through Bold Trail, I found out, but you can install it on a computer as well. So, food for thought. Um, Anyway, you can get it through going through the Bold Trail app, or you can get it just going into your store, the Apple's, you know, the App Store, or what is it, Google Play, that, um, <laughs> that thing. <laughs> um, anyway, so you go on, you get it. Um, let me see if it shows you the logo. It's going to look like right here, this little, that's what the logo looks like um, in the App Store, what it should look like, it's what it looks like on all of my devices anyway. On mine, it's that, see the one right there, the Bold Trail Open House thing. Oh, oh they changed it. I probably need to update them. The, uh, All right. Well, they changed it to Bold Trail. So now look for Bold Trail. Literally between last night, me planning this and today, it has switched. I mean, it might be different on Apple. Maybe, maybe. Sometimes um, Google Play gets different versions sooner than right. Apple because of all the security things from the App Store. So it'll look like one of these two logos, either this Bold Trail open house or the core open house, which is what it prior previously looked like. Um, sorry, it is small on the screen, Jed. I can't make it any bigger. I, okay, again, it it works funky on a Mac um, because it's made specifically for iPhone and iPad. Cool, I, with my glasses on, still cannot. I'm struggling. <laughs> but anyway, so once you download the app, um, you're basically ready to go. You log in, it asks you for your, your bull trail logins. And once you log in, you can, um, either search, you can start your open house. You can either search by MLS or the address. Um, it's gotta be an MLS in order for this to work. You cannot do one that is not in, in the MLS. So say you're doing an open house for a FISBO or something like that. Um, it, it's gotta be in the MLS and I've run into this because I've done a couple of open houses for a couple of Sundays rentals recently, and I could not use it because 
it, they weren't quite in the MLS yet. So in order to use it, it has to be actually in an MLS able to pull up that we are connected to. <laughs> yeah. Um, so well, how I use this is y'all know me and my devices. I put it on my iPad. Um, I, my iPad sits on the counter, the table, whatever area I have set up. Um, I'll have my flyers or my co-branded flyers with the lender. Um, I'll have some QR codes that I usually make and I'll have my iPad set up and my iPad has a keyboard attached to it. And I put it on, on Apple, it's called guided access. Um, when I open this app or once I set it up, that keeps anyone from going willy nilly into my iPad. It locks them just to that app in Android. I believe it's called pinned apps. I think it's pinning is what it is. So if you know how to pin an app, if you don't, I Googled it last night. It looks very simple, easy to do. So just search pinning app Android <laughs> and you'll see, but it keeps people from messing with your devices. Now, Jed, if you do it from your phone, you can just enter the information for them. Be like, Hey, give me your name, email, you know, phone number, all that great stuff, but you'll see. Um, so let's start an open house. Do you have a listing right now? Do you have any listings right now? No, I, I have one. I have one. Okay. Somebody shoot me an address. Uh, how about 431 Troon, T-R-O-O-N, Chase, C-H-A-S-E. See if it pops up. Nice. There yeah. it is. So here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the, with the overbearing neighbor over here a cute one okay <laughs> it's a super cute townhouse but that neighbor is just over the top uh, it's cool though i like the neighbor's colors and everything yeah i do like it it's very beachy and fun i'm okay. gonna get ready to sell that neighbor's house in like two months oh nice i want to see inside that neighbor's house um anyway. huh i said anyway <laughs> <laughs> I bet you it's fun. I like fun houses. <laughs> so I pulled up the address. You see the MLS number comes up here, the actual picture. So you know that you have the correct place. Yeah. Um, and you're not pulling off, you know, some other place. You can either confirm that this is the open house you're about to do, or you can say, nope, I mess up and start all over again. Click wrong property. Um, once you confirm, it's going to ask you a bunch of questions. Um, you can pick and these are the questions that are going to be asked to everyone who signs in to your open house. Um, I always play it as, hey, we'd love to keep a record of everybody that stopped in today. The owner really wants to know how many people came through. Sign me in, sign up. And most people do. I, have, I haven't had anybody that didn't, honestly. Um, but anyway, so you have where the name and email are defaulted as required. So at the minimum, Bull Trail requires you to have an email address, right? When you, if you've ever manually inputted a new client or prospect or lead, you at least need an email address and their name. So that's defaulted on this um, open house app. Then you can choose, and I require all of these every single time. But you can choose if you are going to require a phone number. Um, again, I always require the phone number. Um, you can choose to ask them if they're currently working with an agent. And you can ask them where they heard about it. Obviously, if you're spending marketing dollars anywhere in, in Google Ad, Facebook, wherever you're spending it, you want to know if it's working or not. Um, so if you aren't in a habit of asking how somebody heard about it, ask. Um, I mean, you need to know if they found it through the MLS open house on homes.com, if it pushed to that. So you need to know what's working and you're spending your money in the right place. Um, so definitely ask. There's no reason not to ask these questions. Um, these two it doesn't really let you require them to answer it. Um, but again, in my experience of using this, I've had the last open house um, Chrissy and I did her listing. Um, which was recent. It was a very busy open house. We had a lot of people. It was great. And there were a lot of people unrepresented um, and nobody had a problem on their way out, on their way in, whatever was convenient. 
answering all the questions. Everybody answered everything. Um, you can also choose what kind of image you want to display. Once this pushes over to what the prospect or the lead sees, um, you'll, you'll see where this fits in. But if you want to use a different picture, you can. If you want to use the main picture, you can. Um, uh, it's just let me use the main one. I don't know if that's because I'm doing it on the I on the Mac or not. Um, you can choose yeah, whether. Like yeah, you swipe it. I, I probably could do it from that. I just. It looked like it was moving. It did a little bit. Oh, there we go. Say you want that to be the picture, or that to be the picture, or that to be the picture. Anyway, it's super cute. It's a cute listing, Rebecca. Um, I'm just gonna just to get off of that. Okay, so you can choose whether or not you want to put the list price and just toggle it on or off. Um, basically, how much detail you want on there when they go to sign in. Um, once you've got everything how you want it, hit next. And then this is your hashtag. So obviously, this app communicates with Bull Trail. <laughs> Keep hesitating bold trail um and what happens is once somebody inputs their information into this app it automatically goes in to your contacts as a lead um in bold trail they work together in tandem and usually there's a little bit of a so my how how i normally see it and again i'm an apple user i don't know if android is gonna be different but while the open house is still going on before I have ended this app, it doesn't input them right away. It's once you finish the open house and complete the open house, then it'll start Give it an hour, whatever, 20 minutes. It'll start, it depends on Wi-Fi. <laughs> it'll start um, importing whoever came to the open house into the system. Um, and then you can start getting to work. But if you want any specific hashtags, you can enter them in here. If you're using Bull Trail, um, you know, uh, let's say I want buyer. You might already have hashtags that you search. If you don't know what the hashtag is and you're using bull trail, you need to go back and watch the videos or ask one of us that's using bull trail, how this works. Um, I mean, sometime in the future, we'll do some more training classes, but because we just literally did all these classes, <clears throat> I think we need to wait a minute, but that's just me. But you can add the hashtag so you can easily search it later. It will also create a hashtag about, it'll say open house and the address. So you can search it by either or. Create a pin, this is what you do. So you wanna create a pin because you need to choose when to start it and when to end it. When you end it, it'll ask, what's the pin? You need to say that you are you, obviously, and that one of your people strolling through the house willy-nilly didn't just end the app for you or close the open house. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four. Confirm the pin, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I did 5309 last time. Nice. Yeah. I try to get creative. All right. So once you launch it, this is what the lead is going to see. When they come into your open house, you're going to say, hey, please sign in. It doesn't look like it saved the picture, but that's fine. Um, but you'll see the address, the amounts. This is where you can choose whether you want to put the price or not. That's all about your marketing and what you want to do. Um, listing courtesy of whoever's holding the open house. Your information will show up there so they can easily take a picture of it. They know who they're talking to, whatever. Um, so I'm at the open house. I got prospect come through. I'm gonna be like, sign in. Come on, Jed. Oh, you're gonna make me do it? Yeah, come up with a name. Oh, you don't want to. I, I watched too many Mel Brooks movies. <laughs> um, okay, so let's say oh, willy nilly. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to go in and turn this out. So they're gonna fill out their information, right? Willy nilly. At gmail .com. I wonder if that's a real, I should leave it on. 
and then their phone number. I'm just going to put mine just to make it easy. And then it's going to ask the questions that you want them to ask. So yes, let's say, I mean, our hope is no, they're not working with an agent, but if they are, I want to show you how that works. Um, they can say yes. And, oh, sorry. It does that. You are just in my phone all the time. Um, how did you hear about this open house? It's a little slow, sorry. You can find out, you know, online, drive by, word of mouth. Um, I know, I wish they would change that. Um, or they have other where they can type in um, where, and then they submit it. And that's what they see. Thank you. My big old face. Then it's going to go on to the next. You have them continuing to sign in. It's pretty easy. It's really not difficult. Um, all right. So say you are, you've gone through, you got your open house. Everybody signed in. It's great and wonderful. You've signed them in whatever way you want to do it. This is where you do your pin. You're done with the open house. You've been there for two hours. You're all done. So then you have the tally of just all the open houses we've done. Once it's no longer in the MLS, it just changes to that generic picture. You don't see the photo of the listing anymore. So that's why all those look like that. Um, but you can go in, you can see their information. Um, it's very easy. And then it's that simple. And I'm going to see if it may not already be in in my bull trail yet yeah, it is look at that already yes. willy-nilly awesome. all right so there it is didn't take any time at all i guess it takes extra time for me because when i close my ipad i'm not on the wi-fi stops so it usually it, it does as soon as i get home and start sending my thank you for stopping in yep it will do it but to be on the safe side Usually I would say just from the tech side of things, 20 minutes is appropriate. <laughs> Give it 20 minutes. Don't yeah, freak out if it's space. not immediate. <laughs> it depends. It doesn't have to. But anyway, you see all of their information is in here. You're going to have their phone number, their email address. Once you connect with them, you think them, um, you can change the input more data, whatever you want to do to try to convert them. Um, here are your hashtags. Like I said, it creates the open house one automatically. Um, I can't see if I'm clicking on that or not. Is that green? Buyer? Yes. Okay. You can choose who they are. Um, now, everybody knows a lot of time agents do show up to the open houses and they will input their own data for their client. Um, I, I That's what I would do, honestly. I mean, I've done it before. Exactly. You get mine. If you want any questions, feedback, whatever, you talk to me. So um, you can change them. You're going to have to manually change them over to agent. It doesn't, doesn't automatically do it. So, um, Or say the nosy neighbor comes in and they decide they might want to sell their house too. You can mark them as a seller. And once you do that, the playbooks will start doing their thing. Um, you can set it up. You're, do you want me to turn it down? I freeze so I don't touch it when I come in here because it feels good to me but I don't think about other people <laughs> uh -huh. I feel like it's either either you freeze or you burn all right um so you can also go into their profile details um you can change their information if they ask you not to text them um, if they, you know, ask them, said, don't call me, email me only make sure you set all those things. Cause we have to respect them. That is the rules. You get in big trouble. If they tell you not to call you. Oh yeah, you can. And I don't know about you. I ain't got that. So <laughs> not worth it. Um, set up their alerts, talk to them, see what they like, what they're looking for. Start sending them emails. Um, so Pretty cool, pretty easy. I don't know why everybody is not using this. Um, makes no sense to me. 
but this might be a short class because that's how simple this app is. Um, I mean, there's literally, it's pretty black and white. There's no set it up, close it out. You got people in your system, you know, anybody have any questions? No, that was great. Straightforward. Seems easy enough. Like even somebody like me can figure it out. Oh, it's so, it's so simple. I mean, the worst part is finding the app, right? And so <laughs> right? <laughs> everything else is so easy. And I, you know, I, I feel like, I, I don't know. I, I haven't really had any issue, even if it's the paper version of people signing in for right. open houses. People know that once you say, hey, sign in on the sign-in sheet, they usually do it. I don't get a lot. The only people I've ever had turn me down was one kind of cranky neighbor that was just being nosy. Yeah. And he just really did not want to give me any information other than he lived next door. Ew. Yuck. Yeah. Well, you run into them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. But, um, but it's really, it's really great. And especially if you've got a great listing that you really think you're going to get a lot of looky loos and people that are unrepresented, um, obviously that's why we, well, I mean, that's not the only reason we do them, but that's a big reason why I would do them for you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Cause I want the leads off of it. So if it's a what, good one, what I really like about this is that, and I've been a paper person for sign in sheets for years. And again, I don't have a lot of trouble getting people to sign in. I just focus on the fact that it's a security measure. Yeah. And, and if I was doing an open house in their house, I'm sure that they would like that as well. So they usually sign it, but what I've always done is written down a fake name you know, an email address and mm -hmm. phone number just to make it look like at least somebody, somebody else came in. And here you really don't, like, it doesn't matter. I have done that at slow open houses. Like if I've been sitting there for yeah. you know, 15 minutes and nobody's walked in, I sure will. I'll write my son's name down, my daughter's name down, you know, go, I'll make up some names, some kids in the neighborhood, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I have done that before. You don't have to do that with this because people don't see that's and, great. You know, it's all that. confidential there. You're not going to see a sheet where everybody's number and email address is out there for everyone else to take a picture of or whatever. Um, awesome. I mean, I hate, well, I'm going to, I'm yeah, I think it's, I think it's more private. <laughs> I think people are more open to it. Um, yeah. you got to be careful with the written sheets. Um, not everybody is honest, you know, They'll get, Absolutely. Yeah. They'll get information. Um, you might have an agent that gets, they take a picture of it. Right. You know, so uh, this is why I love tech. Everything is a lot more private and we're to ourselves and we can keep it to ourselves and hoard it. And nobody will ever get it unless you put it out there. That's awesome. Um, I did miss, I hate to admit this, but whatever I'm going to, I stepped away for like 30 seconds. <laughs> Okay. Uh, in, in the beginning of what you were doing. So you went into whatever it's called bull trail. Mm -hmm. and when I came back 30 seconds later, you were on the page that takes you where you click and takes you to the app store, but I didn't see how you actually got to that one. I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah. I actually didn't go to, I had it pulled up already, but, um, what you want to do, I think it was in more. Okay. And, um, where did, I think it was support and resources is where I found it. Um, and then just open house. Okay. There it is, right? Okay. That was the one step I missed. Awesome. Yeah. They changed the dashboard a little bit and the, the tools when they changed the bull trail. So I, I saw, I, yeah. Yeah, I was kind of playing around trying to figure out where I found it last time because it looks different now. Even the marketplace looks a little bit different. Yeah. Um, a little bit of a facelift. So I'm still kind of figuring it all out because mine has been on, I, it's, I've been really busy. Honestly, I've been showing just about every day for the last several weeks. Nice. So, um, I haven't played around with it as much as I wanted to yet since it switched but I, it did take me a second, but if you just go to support and search everything you can ever search for is there cool. uh, in the app store, just search. Um, I'm going to do it real quick. Hold on. It looked like there was a link that went um, and brought it up, but yeah, there was, there is, there's a yeah. link. 
Um, cool. Yeah, well, it still comes so, up for me as, I'm going to look up bold. I'm just looking in the app store right now. Hold on. Also, um, I noticed on mine that everybody that ends up under the hashtag open house, if you do another open house, it will send them the notification that there is another open house that you're hosting. Yep. Interesting. Automatically. Yep. And it doesn't great. matter if it's an open house at the same property or a new one. Correct. Lovely. It just says, hey, the person that you met is now hosting another open house because you hashtag them as open house. I love that. That's amazing. That's why the hashtags in Bull Trail are important. Um, it's it's for that kind of communication. It, it does a lot of automated functions that will just automatically happen. And that is one. And the hashtags, if you have the right hashtags and the playbooks set up to the right hashtags, that one is automated. That one Bull Trail came up with it. As soon as you open, as soon as you use the open house app, it does that. It sets up that hashtag and then it'll do it for all future for sure. So it's pretty cool. That's why I don't understand why we still got some people not using it. <laughs> it's really great. I promise. Well, and I think that um, like once you've done an open house, like if you go back into the open house app and like, if you want to do another one, if you click on it, I think you can just relaunch the same one for if a different weekend. Yep. If it is still an, a live listing, like, so for cool spring, the one we did last time, I can't do that. But for Rebecca's, which is still live, I can go in and relaunch if I'm coming back the next day, say Sunday, or if I'm coming back next weekend or during the week, whenever you decide to do it, as long as the listing is still live, you can relaunch and do another open house. Any other fun facts or questions or? I don't think so. No, that was great. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And of course, um, if anybody, I'm, I'm, you guys are fine, but you know, this goes on YouTube. So if somebody's watching later and has questions or needs help or whatever, reach out to any of us. Um, We've got a great group of collabs that can help you out. So Thank but you. I think I think that's it. This is gonna be short and sweet today. So <laughs> thanks for attending, guys. Absolutely. This was awesome. I can't wait to use it. Yeah, please do let me know if you have any issues with it or questions. Um just make sure you're on some good Wi-Fi or cell. Okay. Sorry. And you should you shouldn't have a problem. Great. Yeah. I've got one in Portsmouth next month that I really, really want to do open houses for. So I'll try it then. Mm -hmm. Well, so have we tried to use it offline? Um, yes, it does not. So here's what happens. If you are offline, it does, it cannot pull up the MLS number. Mm. No, I mean, like if it's, sorry, let me rephrase the question. Once if I set it up, prior right. To prior to, and then I get there. And for some reason I don't have signal. I can't get a hotspot. Um, will it still capture the information? I believe it does. Off I believe, I'm pretty sure it does. Um, and then it resyncs when you reconnect to Wi-Fi. Okay. But huh. I will verify that at my next open house, which I'm sure I'll be doing one very soon. So. Okay. That would be a fun experiment. Like as long as it still captures the information. Sure. You know, we... I know I usually, I've basically all the three that I've done using this app so far, I have set up once I got to wherever I was getting. Um, hmm. So I haven't done it where I set it up ahead of time and then do it. So I'll do that next time. And we'll find out. Yeah. Cause I, I know that occasionally some of us will be in the middle of nowhere and it's just body reception a lot actually yeah <laughs> um, even parts of virginia beach i mean if you're close enough to the to the bases you know sometimes you don't have good data right. connection right. So, yeah like sitting over by oceana and the yeah. radar wipes you out <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> happened to me the other day, actually. It's yeah. fabulous. Um, <laughs> I was like, man, did they crank it up or something? I don't know what was happening. It was nuts. But um, yeah. So I'll try it next time. We'll circle back. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. And if and if Rebecca, you have any open houses before me and you try it that way, let me know. So what I think I might do, um, because my clients don't have like cable or internet anymore at Troon's Chase is yeah. I might just experiment with it. Not that I'm doing an open house, but I might see about setting up and try to input one just to see what happens. Um, because I usually use my phone as a hotspot, but it wasn't working from there like two weeks ago. So mm -hmm. that'll be a good way. I can just check it out and I'll probably be able to do that on Friday. Yeah. Just okay, cool. Experiment. Well, just keep me posted how it goes. Awesome. Thank you all. Yeah, Enjoy well, have support. a good rest of your week. Have a great weekend. Get some offers on your listings <laughs> and keep rocking and rolling. Coolio. Thank you. All right. Thanks guys. Where's my mouse?